Welcome to the Functional Trainer Showdown. <laughs> Same in there. We've got big ones. We've got little ones. We've got little stacks. And we've got big stacks. Also no stacks. Squeaky. We've tested and reviewed 30 plus functional trainers ranging from $200 all the way up to $10,000. So let's get into it. Hey guys, this is Coop from Garage Gym Reviews. And man, do we have an exciting one today. I'm gonna give you recommendations on a wide variety of cable machines and functional trainers. Now, like all of our reviews, below the like button, we'll put links to all of these products that we recommend. So don't go there until after you watch the video. However, if you'd like to purchase through there, that supports us. Those are affiliate links where the companies pay us commission. Doesn't cost you extra, but for transparency's sake, I wanna let you know. Also, many of these items, not all of them, but many of them were sent to us free of charge for a review. As you'll see, this is gonna be an honest take like all of our videos. So expect the same level of quality in our content and honesty and everything like that like we do in every other video. All right, so there are a lot of options and I've broken this up in a few different ways. So we've got functional trainers with dual stacks, which is what you find in most gyms and what I'd recommend for most people, depending on your space, your budget and your training. Then we have single stacks. So these are ones that are just one upright. They either go against the wall or they stand and they can do a lot of what a normal functional trainer can do, but they only have a single stack. Then we have combo units and combo units are basically machines that fit within something else. So say it's a squat rack or it has a Smith machine. And then lastly, we have smart trainers. And so there are more and more smart functional trainers that are out there today. Just understand most of those do come with a membership where the other ones, obviously their free weights do not. And then lastly, with in those categories nested underneath is based on price. So I'm gonna go through the very high end, middle tier, budget, and then ultra budget for nearly all these categories, breaking down which ones I recommend and why. Okay, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, the first one is dual stacks. And dual stacks, this is the one in which there are the most options. And this is the one that for me, and I think for most other people, is the most interesting. Now this is something to understand with many of these commercial options. Many of them come with nylon pulleys. Nylon pulleys are cheaper to produce than aluminum. However, the reason that commercial options put them within their machines is they don't tear apart the cable like an aluminum pulley will. And most of these are made for lots and lots of use from people that don't care about the equipment. So understand you're buying a commercial piece that's really not made for a home gym. So you may find out that some of the cheaper options with aluminum pulleys may even be smoother than these high-end options. So to start, Life Fitness Signature Series is one of the most expensive and one of the best. At nearly $10,000 shipped to your Door. It has some of the heaviest stacks with a four to one cable ratio, which means it can pull really far. The problem with it is it's a lot of money and takes up a lot of space. They are very good though. I wouldn't recommend them for most home gym owners because they're so big, but I think they're great machines. Then you have the free motion. For me and my gym, this is the best. It has heavy stacks, three to one pulley ratio, but the nice thing about it for a home gym is it's so compact but offers a lot of range of motion in the arms, which means you can get really high, you can get really low. There's ways that you can hack them in order to have extra functionality. Like I've added a strip to the front of mine, so then I can add a bulldog pad. There's just a lot that you can do with these machines, but for those that are looking for the best of the best, honestly, the free motion is up there. However, it's very expensive. It's nearly 10 grand. And I think for most people, I think there are better options out there to spend your money on. And one that recently came out that I haven't been able to use yet, but I do want to call out is the Rogue FT1. This is basically Rogue taking some of their other options like their CT1 with some stabilizers between them and suddenly you have a Rogue functional trainer. This thing is sick. And people look at the price and they're like, man, it's over 6,500 bucks. I actually think if you have the space and you have the money and you're deciding between a free motion, a life fitness or a rogue, I think a rogue honestly is that good. There's a lot of functionality and a lot of storage capability with that rack right there. And when you compare it to some of the other options, like I think it's pretty compelling. And then you have something like the Prime Fitness, which is a fantastic functional trainer and really models something similar to the free motion and is at a lower price. But I think the free motion is a better option. Prime Fitness, it's kind of hard to order. A lot of times it's out of stock. It just takes a long time. I think of all the options that are out there, and you're just looking for the best of the best, I think the Rogue FT1 is really what I'd be looking at. Let's go to the ones that I think most people should be looking at, and that's the mid-tier. This video is brought to you by Future. Future is an online personal training program that I use and have used for over two years now. 
They actually sent me a notification. I burned over 250 calories using the service. I'm a huge fan. In fact, we did a review. I liked it so much, people accused us of doing an ad. So I just decided we should do an ad because I like it that much. I'm not just saying that, I absolutely mean it. If I didn't like it, I just wouldn't mention it. No, I love Future, I highly recommend it. Basically it allows you to have a one-on-one -on -one personal coach for your training, for accountability, for workouts. They also do some nutrition advice. It works extremely well. I've gotten many of my friends and family, including my videographer on it, because it works that good. If you'd like to join, we have an exclusive offer for GGR members. You can click the link below the like button and get the first month for only 19 bucks. Very cheap. I highly suggest signing up. This mid-tier is somewhere between $1,000 or $1,500, somewhere around there, and $3,000. This is the price point that I think most home gym owners should be looking at. They're gonna take some assembly, but there's something that literally you're never gonna outgrow in terms of your strength, and it's also gonna be durable enough that you're gonna be able to keep it for as long as you'd like. Here are some of the options. Number one is you have companies like Inspire Fitness. Then you have more specialized companies, like say Rep Fitness in their FT3000 and their FT5000. Then you have Titan Fitness with their functional trainer. Then you have Torque Fitness. We've got a fold-away version with their F9. You also have something like Xmark, like the XM7626. Then another one we viewed is the Frey Fitness Functional Trainer that is kind of modeled after the Life Fitness Signature Series with a lot lower quality and lighter stacks. Factoring in all of these, I think the ones that are most compelling and the ones that I would most look to for this price point are the Rep FT5000 and the Titan Functional Trainer. Now here's kind of the differences between these. Right now, the Rep FT5000 uses nylon pulleys, but Titan on the other hand, they're using aluminum pulleys. Both offer heavy stack options in a two to one ratio. So they're very much competing both on price and features. You can tell Rep is going to do somewhat of an update to the FT5000 and in that update, they're gonna take some of my critiques that I've had in the past and going to improve that machine. But when I consider the retail price, I consider all the componentry, I consider what they can do, I'm going with the Rep Fitness FT5000. And the reason being is it's a unique unit. Now let's move to a budget category. There's not a ton of options between $500 and $1,600, which is what this category is. And I think the best option for this is the Inspire Fitness FTX. This is a unit that you can go to Costco and get for nearly $1,500, $1,600. This unit has 165 pound stacks at a two to one ratio. So at the pulley, that's 82 and a half pounds. And it doesn't take up a lot of space, has a pull-up bar, is an easier assembly than many of these options. So if you're looking for just the essentials, Man, for that price point, that one's really good. And then we have the ultra budget category. And these are ones that are below $500. And so I have some unique options here. Most of these are plate loaded. You're not gonna spend below $500, including shipping, and get something that has a 200 pound stack. It just costs too much to ship and costs too much to manufacture. But if you're in a home gym, it's likely that you're using weight plates on your barbells for resistance. So therefore, you can use that same resistance on a functional trainer. Here's what I think is the best option if you have wall space, and that is taking two single stack options that are plate loaded and putting them on the wall and then you have dual stacks and you have dual stacks for around $500 and you can use your weight plates and you can do a ton with it and because it's attached to your wall it can be really stable and so the two options that are, I think most interesting in this category are Bells of Steel their plate loaded single stack version as well as Titan's wall mounted pulley version three. The amount of adjustment options and things you can do with this is fantastic. The Bells of Steel version actually uses a better upright that has more holes in it and they make attachments for it. So you can do a lot of things with it that you can't do with the Titan one. The other thing that's nice about both of these options, they have dual pulleys within them. So it's a single stack, but because they have longer handles, you can kind of simulate a chest fly. You can also go from a two to one ratio to a one to one ratio immediately just by connecting the cables, which is a pretty cool option within a $250, $300 price range. So those are the two options I'd look at. The other nice thing about them is you can add more over time and suddenly you have a dual functional trainer or cable crossover, which I think is pretty cool. For the single stacks, there's not a ton of mid tier options. So I'm just gonna kind of go to the more higher end is the Prime Fitness single stack. This single stack option is so well done because you can do the same things you can do on a single stack functional trainer, but because it offers extra holes and attachments, you can use it for lat pull downs and low rows. Again, it is very expensive, but if you're looking for an all-in-one unit that does both lat pull downs, 
functional trainer and low row all in one compact package. But because there's not a lot of competitors for all that that can do, I really like that one and use it often. Then you have Sornex with their functional cable column that is really made for universities and snaps onto uprights on the back of say squat racks. And it is so well done. It's really nice. And you can also use the bulldog pad on for a lot of different options. It's just a difficult ordering process. And it's hard to recommend those to people that are watching a video online and would much rather go in, add to cart and buy it that way. Then moving down from there, you've got a couple other options. One is Torque. They make an option that's a single stack that can bolt onto the wall or bolt onto a rack at around $2,400. But for many of you watching, it doesn't have enough versatility to really recommend it for the price. Then below that, you have like GetRx with a single stack, which I think is more compelling on the price point and the stacks. Also, Bells of Steel, they make a stack version of their plate loaded version that bolts to the wall that has a 210 pound stack. And I think for the price offers a lot of things that nobody else does. So if you're within that price category, I think that's one worth looking at. And that's most of the single stack options. This is a category just to be clear, and especially for those manufacturers and designers out there that are watching this, there needs to be more options here. There's just so much you can do within this space with a single stack, the potential cost savings in shipping, the potential space saving, man, like I feel like this category could have so many more options and better options at various price points. Like the home gym community, like could be really benefited by this. So please manufacturers come out with other options. Okay, let's move on to the combo units. Within this kind of category, I'm kind of looking at two main ones for the price points. And that is the Rep Ares and the Rep Athena, which are very similar and I'll talk about them. And like Force USA. Here's kind of what I'd look at. If you want a Smith machine, the Inspire FT2 and the Force USA G20 has a lot of cool things going on. Now, kind of the pinnacle right now is the Rep Ares. And it's really, really good for what I think is a very fair price. There's just so much you can do with that piece of equipment. And I know they plan to build on that ecosystem over time with the different accessories. So that one is really compelling. But I do want to say, I think the Athena, at least for my training, is more interesting. The Athena with dual stacks on each side, as well as a center mount stack, lat pull down and low row with a single cable option, I, for my training, I would actually prefer. But that's not to say the Force USA ones aren't good. The X20 and X15 are very compelling, as is the G20 with the Smith machine. So if you're looking for something with a Smith machine, more compact, comes with a lot of accessories, I think the Force USA ones are worth looking at. And then lastly are the smart options. And there are quite a few more smart options coming out. You obviously have the big one, which is tonal, but you have other options that can kind of be like that. You have something like Max Pro, you have Vitruvian Trainer Plus, and magnetic resistance is just really nice. Like it's very consistent. You can control the parameters very uniquely, but this is gonna be no surprise to anybody. Tonal's the best still. It offers the best training with the best training experience, what I think really matters. I would look at that one. Vitruvium, if you wanna go heavier and want a cable option from the floor, is very good. I actually love the equipment and I like it better than I like Tonal, but the experience on Vitruvian isn't close to Tonal. So because of that, <laughs> I'm out. Okay, there is a lot of words. That's a lot of options. There are others out there. If there's some that I missed and you're like, man, you really need to try this, let me know in the comments. I want to make sure we're providing honest, exhaustive reviews for all of you that are looking for various price points. And I feel like I've done that. So let me know in the comments what you think of it and what you think of any other options. If you'd like to see more of our type of content, you're into gym equipment, into building home gyms, we're literally the best place for it. I'm a little biased, but we're the best. This is Coop from Garage Gym Reviews. We'll see you next time. Peace.